what? Mmm. I think that's probably gone down a little bit. Yes, it does. Because you can see the holes from the uh, the run through. Yesterday it was way over. Yeah, if you're steady away, you can see the rock there. These are government trees left to go in. And steadily going through. And there we can see it's steadily flowing through from this section here into this bottom rice section. This section here being a bit of an erosion there, bugs are still in place, but it's a bit of erosion, soil erosion there. Still coming through the uh, run through there. And steadily coming down into that. Now this section here being some damage here. Yeah, just more. Mm. Just wider. Yeah. So that tree gonna fall in a minute. It's cause go underneath. Yeah, it, that's right. So yeah, a bit of erosion there. That's the worst. Uh, we've seen normally this is full to the top so a bit of uh, work required in there like Mem says that tree there is about to collapse in but they all get sorted the main thing is the main structure is still in place I'm just having a stroll through this top section. A few of them coming on in here. There's a good one, that's a good one as well. Just a little bit soft underfoot here. So what? Um, cashew nut do very good in there. Mm. The cashew nut plant do very good. Must like it then. Mm. Lots of cashew nuts on the way. That's a good cash crop. Now you can see, following down by the side of them, these eggplants on this side. Very odd, very odd why these are a lot better condition. I'm thinking sort of after midday, afternoon when the real heat's on uh, and the sun goes over this way then uh, the fence and the vegetation, this sugar cane and that providing a bit of uh, protection but hey, who knows, I'm not the bloody farmer here mm. Some good specimens of eggplants on here I like There's the odd one like but oh man so we're over there. Check it out. 
checking the situation. Here holding nicely. Here holding. But the main body of water is further over on that side. But bit of erosion there, bags are beginning to uh, deteriorate. So a little bit of work required on there. Now this rice over here ain't too bad. I thought it was flattened, it was just the uh, the quality of picture from the camera. But she says it's uh, grown a little bit since she cut it which is about four or five days ago and we're now on the third day of rain so so not a great lot of uh, collection of water down there which is good really like you don't want it hanging about in the bloody rights all the time but now this section here that's solid like you know it's wide enough so well look at the height of this rice But she's uh, cut some of that as well, like maybe not at the edges here. That's quite uh, tall. Now, coming down into this section, you might think, well, it doesn't look as though it's raining, Michael. Well, it's drizzling. Just drizzling, if you can see on the water there. So, quite a collection of water in there and holding. Bit of deterioration with uh, sacks here, like. Good collection of water in there. But see, even down this end, still good quality eggplants coming up. And that section of water there is draining through, through that blue pipe I showed you earlier. That bag slipped over a bit, I think. But been a lot of rain. Been a lot of rain. Well over 48 hours of rain. Which I've previously said is a bloody rarity for this neck of the woods. few papayas on there and down to this bottom corner
No one's utilised that little fishing uh, trap there. No one's put any net down, so. But see, that's what they like here. They don't think half the time. Mm. Now that's a nice steady stream down. And it comes into these nadders here and then away down. And over there the dogs are mooching about. Yes, is that your bread? Hey? Eh? And then we're back down there. And there's a previously shown, I think. That's flowing through there nicely. So there we go. And here's the hounds waiting patiently. Yes, Bobby wagging his tail, butter and bread. And over there is Rosie and Minnie. Yes, I'm coming. <coughs> I better get a knife and uh, get down and bloody cut that away. 